Hi, my name's Alok, and I'm an engineer at Warp, a terminal reimagined from the ground up to work like a modern app. We've spent the past year and a half reimagining the terminal and building features that make the terminal easier to use and make you a more productive developer. Today, I'm going to show you some of the first features we've built in Warp. Our focus is on speed and immediately helping developers be more productive in their current workflows. We're built in Rust and are compatible with ZSH, Bash, and Fish without any configuration. The first thing you'll notice is the text editor at the bottom. Unlike in a traditional terminal, Warp has a full-fledged text editor, like something you're used to in an IDE. Like any robust text editor, Warp supports cursors and selections. And unlike in a standard terminal, the editor is mouse accessible by default. So here, I can click on anywhere in the text range, I can select, and just replace trivially. All of the keyboard shortcuts you're used to in an editor already work, so I can jump by word, I can select the beginning of the line, etc. We also support more complicated editor actions, like multiple cursors. So, for example, here I could run cargo check, and cargo run, and then also select both instances of cargo using control G and add the stable flag. The next thing you'll notice about warp is that we separate commands and their output into something we call blocks. So for example, I can run ls and then I can add some text into a readme file. And you can see that each command is semantically separated from the one before it. So what's nice is because we can separate commands in their output, you can do navigation on a, on a block basis. So if I click on the snack bar at the top, I can navigate to blocks that were previously off screen. And also I can use the up and down arrow to quickly navigate between blocks in a keyboard accessible way. You can also right click on any block for block specific actions that you couldn't do in a traditional terminal. So for example, I could copy just the output, I could copy just the command, etc. So here if I copy the output, I can paste it directly back into the editor, for example. I can also create a permanent link to the block that I will render in a web page and then I can send to anyone extremely quickly. Warp shows visual views for both viewing and searching your history. You can hit up arrow to look through your past commands. It can also hit control R to actually execute and search through a previous command. So here I'll hit control R and actually find a command to maybe reset my past git command. Warp also auto-suggests commands so that you can quickly execute commands you previously run. So let's say I want to CD into desktop warp. It'll automatically suggest that command, and I can hit right arrow or control F to automatically suggest that and insert that into the editor. Tab completions also work similarly, but with additional description menus to give you more information on what each section actually does. So here I hit tab, and I actually can walk through each different option and understand what they actually do. Warp shifts with support for over 200 commands out of the box, and there's no configuration necessary. You can also more easily execute, parameterize, and share hard to remember commands with a feature we call workflows, which you can access with Control Shift R or through the command palette. Workflows for common commands are included in Warp by default, and you can build your own workflows or add workflows that are specific to a Git repository. So for example, if I want to undo my last Git commit, I can search for Git reset and just execute that directly. If you're interested in adding more workflows to help a community, we have an open source repo at github.com slash warp.dev slash workflows. Warp can also suggest commands using our AI command search. So here I can ask how many lines change between the last two git commits. 
and I can just hit enter and it'll generate a command. So if I execute this command, it'll show me that 10 lines changed. Similar to VS Code and other productivity apps, Warp has a rich command palette to quickly browse any action you can do in Warp. You can access it at any time using Command P. So here, if I want to clear blocks, I can just search for it very easily. We also support lots of different customization options, such as changing font, theme, key bindings, and using your own prompt. So let's open the settings menu. And if I go into appearance, we ship with about 15 themes by default, including popular ones like Solarize and Grovebox, and also more custom ones like ones with background images, and also ones with gradients. We also have over 100 different themes at our warp.dev slash themes repo, which you can access on GitHub. We also support custom key bindings. So if I go into keyboard shortcuts, and I can change the key binding for the clear block shortcut I used earlier. So let's say I want to change this to Command Shift P. I can save that and also reset it to default at any time. The one other key piece of customization is the prompt. By default, we don't really render or support VS1, but you can flip this feature in settings and it will inspect exactly what is in your configuration for whatever shell you're using. We're excited for you to use Warp. You can check out our help documentation at docs.warp.dev or submit feedback in our GitHub repo at any time. If you want to participate in our community more directly, you can join our Discord to get a sneak preview of the new features we're launching and to chat with other Warp users.